it's Matt at Rough House Studios, and welcome to our special three-part series where we're turning dry ice keef into rosin and then into e-juice. And this is part three, and we're going to take our rosin and use terps to turn it into e-juice. Now here's what you're going to need to do this video. You're going to need some rosin or some wax. You're going to need a mixing container, a heat mat or water bath. You're going to need a syringe to pull up the terpenes at the end. You're going to need some terps, and you're going to need some diluent optionally. If you don't know what those are, if you need to purchase some, please check out terpsusa.com. And thanks to those guys for sponsoring this video. Now the first step is going to be to calculate your amounts. We're going to do the amount to end up with one gram. So we use the terpene calculator or the mix calculator on the Terps USA website. And so I'll step you through how we're going to make one gram. So the first step is going to be to weigh out the wax. Now I'm going to dilute mine about 30%. So in order to achieve that, I'm going to start with about seven tenths of a gram. And through the magic of editing, I nailed it first time. So we're taking our seven tenths of a gram of wax, and then I'm gonna add in the terpenes. And there's different flavors that you could get of terpenes. I'm using the OG Kush flavor because I love the OG Kushes. And terpenes are a fully natural ingredient that are derived from plants. And it's gonna give it the flavor and also dilute it. And you see I added two tenths of a gram to get to just right about nine tenths of a gram. So about 20% of terpenes, a little bit more than that. And I'm going to start making me sneeze and stuff. So I'm keeping mine about 20%. And then because the wax that I have is also a shatter when it's at a cold state, I'm adding in 10% of a diluent. A diluent is just a way to dilute it some to make it a little bit thinner. And it's also a terpene itself or a nearly flavorless terpene, all natural. So the next step is to heat it up to about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. You can set it on a heat mat like I did, or you can put it in a little water bath if you're using glass containers. Just be careful not to spill it. And then stir it while it's up to 150 degrees, and that's going to be your best way to combine it together. And then after that, you're really done. And once it's fully combined, you're ready to use the syringe to pull the e-juice up out of the container and then to put it into your cartridges. Really as simple as that, and there's no wait period or anything needed. And once it's cooled off, it's ready to go and you have some delicious, really delicious tasting e-juice. So now we're gonna try it out with our little vape pen here. And I was really impressed with this. This is the way to make the juices when you want them to taste like the ones you buy in the dispensaries. It's really great flavor. So if you wanna learn more about terpenes, I would really recommend you checking out terpsusa.com. Even if you're not interested in buying them, there's tons of information about terpenes and what they are, how they're used, and other ways that you can use them other than mixing them with cannabis. So be sure to visit terpsusa.com. And again, thanks to those guys for sponsoring this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button and visit roughhousestudios.com for hundreds of cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Rough House Studios. Thank you for watching. <laughs>